All right, have you been eyeing some niche fragrances, some designer fragrances that you've just been dying to have in your collection, but the price tag is just way too high? I have a fragrance house that I'm gonna introduce you to that makes some amazing fragrances that are inspired by some of the most iconic niche and designer fragrances that we all know and love, so keep watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sasha, I do fragrance reviews, a little bit of beauty and style. So if you enjoy that kind of content, please take a minute to subscribe. It helps my channel to grow and hit that notification bell so you know each time that I upload. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you some fragrances for the fraction of the price that you would pay for the original niche and designer fragrances. And I mean, it is super affordable and that Fragrance House brand is Dossier and you guys have heard me talk about them in the past. Don't go anywhere, listen. These are some amazing fragrances. If you're not familiar with Dossier, they do create these fragrances inspired by niche and designer fragrances that are popular and their prices are super affordable. I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 from my collection that I have been wearing a lot of lately, and these are like 90 to 95% spot on of the fragrances that they are inspired by. And Dosi has an amazing customer service. If for any reason a fragrance you order doesn't work with your skin's chemistry, or you just don't like it, or it just doesn't work for you, they will return it, no questions asked, for a full refund but I want you guys to check out my Dossier collection. I have so many fragrances from them. I have fragrances that are inspired by Chanel, Dior, Yves Saint Laurent, Creed, Tom Ford, Mason Francis, Kirk Dijon, the list goes on and on and on. There are so many amazing fragrances that they create and they're always adding new fragrances into the collection, so there's something for everyone. But let's get right on into my top 10. And again, these are 90 to 95% spot on. These are super long lasting, easily six plus hours on my skin. So we're gonna start with the number 10 spot. At number 10, I have Citrus Green Apple, which is inspired by Dolce & Cabana's Light Blue. This is a great fragrance, an easy reach, something to wear if you're out doing errands, maybe shopping with friends, hanging out, maybe spending the day at the beach with a bunch of friends. This is a very fresh, very fruity, citrusy kind of fragrance. Love the notes in this. You can wear this year round. This has the green apple accord when you first smell it. It's crisp, it's a little bit tart. There's also lime, bellflower, jasmine and amber. So really sexy fragrance, it's a lot of fun. This is about 90% spot on to the original Light Blue by Dolce & Cabana. So if you've been eyeing that one, but again, the price tag is just too high right now and you are on that budget, definitely check out Citrus Green Apple. At the number nine spot, I have a Floriental Almond. This is inspired by Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. This is sexy, this is intoxicating. This is that woman that's that go-getter, that boss lady, loves to have fun. This will definitely leave a lasting impression. This is about 95% spot on to the original Good Girl. You can wear this one year round. Great fragrance, opens with this seductive almond note as well as that peach. There's tuberose. Tonka bean, vanilla, and cocoa. So very nice job with this fragrance. All of these fragrances, again, last six plus hours on my skin. So if you like a good girl, again, you don't wanna pay that price, check out Floriental Almond. At the number eight spot, we have Fruity Neroli, and this is inspired by Giorgio Armani's My Way. This is such a pretty fragrance, kind of reminds me of the girl next door, very pretty woman. She, everybody likes to spend time with her when she gives you those hugs, that's that lingering scent. This is really nice, great year-round fragrance, and this is about 90% spot on. 
Love this one. If you love neroli, you're gonna adore this fragrance. It opens with this burst of neroli. There's black currant and strawberry, so it's kind of jammy, sweet. There's jasmine, vanilla, and musk. So it has a little bit of creaminess to it. Great longevity, beautiful fragrance. Again, kind of reminds me of that girl next door. Very sweet, a little bit on that innocent side as well. So gorgeous fragrance. Again, that was Fruity Neroli. The number seven spot is Aquatic Coconut, and this is inspired by Replica Beach Walk by Mason Margiela. Love this fragrance. This reminds me so much of that woman that spent the day at the beach. Maybe she put a little lemon in her hair to get some highlights. She had that coconut lotion on her skin, and now she's walking along the boardwalk, shopping in the different shops in that open sea air, it reminds me a lot of that. This is a great fragrance. I think this is more on the late spring, summertime vibe, but this opens with this beautiful pink pepper. It's got some nice aquatic notes. There's lemon, it's very soft. There's also that coconut, it's creamy. Kind of reminds me of that really expensive suntan lotion. There's benzoin and tonka bean. And this is definitely about 90% spot on with the original Replica Beach Walk. So if you love a fragrance with coconut that reminds you of summer, maybe the tropical vacation or something like that, you will love Aquatic Coconut. And number six, we have Oriental Cherry, which is inspired by Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. And let me just tell you, the cherry note in here is absolutely incredible. This will last longer than the original Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. The cherry note just goes and goes and goes. So in the original Tom Ford, that cherry note dissipates pretty quickly, but you'll notice it definitely in this. This is very boozy. This is a great unisex fragrance. Kind of reminds me if you were at a swanky jazz club wearing this. This is great for year round. Beautiful scent, so if you love that cherry, you're gonna adore this. Now, when you first smell this, you're gonna get a blast of cherry, and it lasts and lasts and lasts. There's also some almond in here. You're gonna pick up on some clove, has a little bit of spiciness in there. There's also that rose note, which is soft and powdery. There's plum, tonka bean, and vanilla. So really well done. Love this, it's about 90, 95% spot on. So that is Oriental Cherry. Number five is Musky Rose, and this is inspired by Narciso Rodriguez for her Eau de Parfum, and this is gorgeous. This reminds me a lot of a rose garden that's just been rained on, and now the sun is warming it up. There's that sweetness in there. It smells beautiful, very feminine. This is about 95% spot on. Gorgeous fragrance. I love the opening of this one. It's got that osmanthus. There's rose and it's very soft. It's very powdery. You're getting a little bit of peach, so a little bit of fruitiness in this one. Patchouli and oak moss. So if you like patchouli, it is very apparent in this fragrance. It smells incredible. Again, this is very feminine, very beautiful. So this is Musky Rose. In the number four spot, we have Oriental Oak Moss, and this is inspired by Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle. This is a fun, flirty type of fragrance. You can wear this one year round. I definitely see someone that just enjoys the finer things in life. She just has a lot of fun. This is about 95% spot on, especially in the dry down. It's really hard to tell this one apart from Coco Mademoiselle. Love the notes on this one. Really feminine, very pretty, very playful. This one opens with bergamot, also with a peach jasmine. There's that rose patchouli, vetiver, and vanilla. Very playful, very fun, very 
flirty, almost youthful, but any age can wear this. I absolutely love this fragrance. I know Chanel has a hefty price tag on their fragrances. So if you've been wanting Coco Mademoiselle, this is a great one. This is again, Oriental Oak Moss. In the number three spot, I have Floral Grapefruit. This one is inspired by Chanel's Chance Au Tendre Eau de Parfum, which is one of my favorite fragrances. So I was really curious to see how this one would fit in as well as similarity. And this has to be about 95%. They've done an amazing job with this. This fragrance reminds me of a cottony clean kind of feel, almost when you have that crisp white shirt your favorite pair of jeans, you've got your bag, and maybe you're shopping with your friends. It's very classy, it's very elegant, and smells absolutely amazing. Now this will open with a beautiful grapefruit. It's a bit sweet. There's also this gorgeous pear, hyacinth, as well as lilac musk and amber wood. So very well done. I love this. It's very, very feminine. And if you love Chance Au Tendre, definitely look no further. This one is fabulous. This is Floral Grapefruit. All right, number two is Ambery Saffron, which is inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540 by Mason Francis Kirk Tijon. This is 95 to 100% spot on. I actually have two bottles of this one because it is that good. This is that type of fragrance that's really intoxicating. It's a great unisex fragrance. It does tend to be a little bit sweet, but that's okay. Guys love this one as well. This will fill up a room. It'll leave a trail. It's intoxicating to those around you when you're wearing this one. I see a very sophisticated man wearing this or a very elegant woman, great for date nights, special events, all around gorgeous fragrance, and Baccarat Rouge 540 is super expensive. So Ambery Saffron is a definite replacement for that, especially if you're on a budget. Smells beautiful. I love the opening on this one. You get saffron, so if you love saffron, this is great. There's also some jasmine, plum. There's this beautiful sweetness to it fir balsam and amber. So all around great fragrance. You can wear this one year round. Highly recommend this. Again, this is Ambery Saffron. And at number one, drum roll please, we've got Oriental Tobacco, which is inspired by Tom Ford's Tobacco Vani. I also have a second bottle of this, a backup. It's incredible. This kind of reminds me a little bit of Christmas, the holidays, something about it, very Christmassy. You've got this gorgeous tobacco note going on here. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Plaza Hotel in New York. I used to hang out at the Oak Bar. People would be smoking cigars in the background. My dad managed the Plaza Hotel, so I would visit him often and go to the Oak Bar, which was a lot of fun. Anyway, the notes in this are really nice. It opens with this tobacco and it's this intoxicating tobacco with ginger. You're also getting some dried fruits, some apricot, vanilla, and cocoa. And that cocoa is kind of that bittersweet chocolate. All around gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. This has to be 95% to 100% spot on. As a matter of fact, I refuse to buy the original Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford because this one is so incredibly good. Definitely check this one out. It is worth it. Again, this is Oriental Tobacco. Well, there you have my review of my top 10 dossier fragrances at the moment. I would love to know, do any of you have any dossier fragrances? If you do, which one do you have? And do you find it to be very close to the original fragrance it's inspired by? Would love to know your thoughts, your comments on that. And I'm going to give you guys a code so you can actually save money when you shop at Dossier. I'll put that in the description box as well as the link to their website. So you can definitely check them out. I hope that you'll show them some love. They're a great company. Thank you for showing me love by actually sticking around and watching this video. I definitely appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay beautiful inside and out.